All right, welcome back. Now, from a 50 billion shilling hustler fund to a 6,000 shilling monthly stipend for the unemployed, promises to uplift Kenyans from their financial plight have been in plenty on the campaign trail. With Deputy President William Ruto now cleared to run for president by the IEBC, and Azimio Laomoja, one Kenya presidential aspirant, Rai Laudinga, set to present his papers tomorrow, the race for State House is shaping up with the two leading the pack. So, as the two main contenders in the race, we ask on the Voters Hub tonight, what would Kenya look like under a Ruto or a Raila presidency? Do their campaign promises meet the needs of Kenyans? Well, joining me tonight is Gloria Oruoba, a youth policy analyst, and Steve Biko, a Fula lawyer and entrepreneur. Thank you both for joining me. Um, you know, when we look at this particular campaign season, election cycle, Kenyans can be very aspirational in saying we want issues. We want this election to be issue based. But do you see this election being that? Do you see both campaigns and I'll say both leading campaigns pushing narratives and agendas that are steeped in issues? Gloria, let me start with you. Definitely. I mean, I think uh, it's uh, first of all, impressive to see that we have shifted from the tribal politics and we needed that we needed someone to introduce an issue based campaign mm -hmm. and i feel like uh, the moment the hustler nation movement came in it it brought in a lot of controversy whether it was a class war and things like that but now that we are getting to to hear more and more of what it actually entails the bottom up economic approach the promises that they are giving i mean when we when uh, we had the running mate of um, Kenya Kwanzaa mentioned it was actually the first time we also uh, f uh, were told of the commitment to the women, you know, right. because that's also when uh, uh, William Ruto said that his cabinet will give 50% to women. So I think it's very refreshing. And, you know, no matter what happens, you know, in the next 60 days or so, I think for the first time in this country, we ought to give it up to the politicians who are at the forefront. We ought to give it up to the people who are actually saying, by the way, we are not going to say, Mount Kenya or Luo Nyanza or whatever we are going to run on issues. And it's not just um, William Ruto or Raila Odinga who are trying to push that issue-based politics. Yeah. Wajakoya as well, you know, he, he, he's also like uh, <laughs> pointing out on the issues that he feels that right. he's going to change. So I think um, personally, I'm looking forward to seeing whichever promises that are being put on the forefront. Like it's refreshing to think about a 50% cabinet that's going to be on women. It's refreshing to understand a hustler fund yeah. that will actually go into injecting uh, to business capital, you know, to make sure that those uh, the youth who are trying to get uh, started on businesses will not only be blocked, you know, you know, we have Weso Fund and these other funds, but it's very restrictive. It's refreshing to see that the manifestos are, are pragmatic, particularly the Kenya Kwanzaa manifesto. So, Steve, are you seeing the same? Of course, on the campaign trail, we can see that strong narrative language coming from one side on the economy, the other more on governance and the rule of law. Are Kenyans also talking about that in their homes? You know, it could be one thing on the campaign trail, but is it being translated to what Kenyans are talking about? Uh, first, thank you for having me. Uh, first and foremost, I would like to disagree with her. I, I don't think any political party has released a manifesto yet. So We're waiting I, for Raila's on Monday. Yes, so yeah. uh, one, the political parties, either Hasla or Azmio or Wajakoya or uh, Jimmy Wanjigi, they've not released a manifesto. So it's too soon to say that th th there's something that we can actually be able to discuss to look upon. What we've seen is a uh, one side saying that they're going to give um, the, the hustlers 50 billion. And then as me is talking about social protection, we've seen Wajoka talking about uh, legalizing weed. And then we've seen Jimmy Wanjigi looking at um, manufacturing as a way of actually creating jobs. Unfortunately, our politics is tribal. Uh, and um, in as much as I want to, to, to agree with her and be inspirational, the only reason or the only time our politics took a different shift is when they appointed the deputy candidates. And this is when now the issue of integrity, the issue of performance was actually put on the table. And now this is the only time, I think we've looked at issues for the last two weeks mm -hmm. since- the So the issues came with the running mates, yes. in your opinion? Uh, like Azmio actually uh, <laughs> brought in the issue of, uh, of integrity, uh, performance, and, and the same issue. Because if you go out and you tell us that you're going to give us 50 billion for as people in the business community. One, where are you going to get the money from? <coughs> Two, 
in what in what capacity or in what in in, in, in terms of structures are we going to access this money? She's mentioned about, uh, about youth the fund. economic forums that they've been having in That's the actually countries. what I was now. Uh, let me just come to it. Mm -hmm. uh, I've attended two of the economic forums, mm -hmm. and the issue is basically protectionist. Uh, one where I met the, the basically meeting uh, manufacturers and, and uh, top level business community. And the issue was what can you do for you? And uh, we were presenting our issues from uh, the need for more jobs in manufacturing, the need for climate change push, the need for tax reforms, the need for access credit. It's basically us being able to give them uh, our views. It's not them giving us <coughs> solutions. And I'm hoping that from this coming uh, week, we'll be able to see now the solutions in terms of where they're going to get this 50 billion to give to us. What are, the, what are going to be the structures in order for me to be able to access this money? Uh, when Azmio talks about social protection, <coughs> how is this going to be done? Because we've seen Currently, the current government is giving 2,800 to, to citizens above 70 plus, but we've seen over 500 million of it has been stolen. So where are they going to get money from for them to be able to meet these promises? Because for every 100 shillings that CARI is collecting, currently 70 shillings mm -hmm. are going to debt repayment. And with the weakening of a shilling, I think now the exchange rate is at, at 123 shillings to the dollar. It's going to be very difficult for whoever becomes the president to actually manage the country if you do not have resources, which means you either tax more or borrow more or, you know, because expanding the it's tax very, base. I have so you're saying actually, market forces will not allow for Let me just economic finish. plans to go it, it, it's, it's impossible to promise anything they're promising when, when the market forces are actually going to be completely against them. Okay. Because currently, oh, yeah, let me just, let me, let me say I something. Like a... the, the parliament, uh, parliament last, uh, this week, uh, IMF and World Bank and the Paris Club actually told Parliament to rethink uh, throwing out the Finance Act, the changes in terms of increasing taxes. And World Bank put, put down their feet because they know things are bad. So you've seen uh, taxes on certain things have reduced from 16% to 8%, okay. but alcohol has gone up. So, so Gloria, I wanted to respond to that yeah, before I, I move I on to, to the next. I want to address two issues. It's very simple. You ask, where are we going to get the money to give a 50 billion fund to inject you know, and start businesses? There are a lot of uh, businesses that are not taxable because they've not been organized. When we talk about Mamamboga and Boda Boda, I, I challenge anyone to find out how government is actually providing any services for these businesses and what kind of taxes are they paying. So we have been very clear from the beginning and actually if you attended our economic forums, yes, indeed, it is about um, getting the views from the people on where the pain points are and what they would expect the government to do for them because that's why we call it the bottom-up economic approach. So yeah. um, the idea with that is after every economic forum, and I participate in the Secretariat, so I can tell you this for a fact, a charter is actually developed from every county. Where do we get the money? All these uh, industries that have not been organized, we plan to organize them. It's very simple. Once you organize the industry, then you're able to provide a service and then you're able to tax. So it's not that we are going to uh, uh, now add taxes on the existing business, but yeah. we are going to expand the tax uh, uh, collection bracket because now all these other small industri uh, industries will be organized. And I also want to address one thing. You know, to say that um, no one really has brought a manifesto, you don't need a manifesto for you to have a, an issue based. Uh, campaign. We have had but the manifestos have come in late yes, in the but, game though. But we've had as Emil put out their points. They're talking about corruption, what they're going to do. They're talking about 6,000. Those are issues that are being addressed. And on the other side, on Kenya Kwanzaa, we've had that it's going to be about the bottom-up economic approach. And we are signing charters with the counties to commit that it's not only on a national platform, yeah. but also on a county platform. And Victoria, allow me to add this. When you uh, talked about the um, that, that the issues only were brought with the running mates. What Azimio brought with the running mate was the gender issue, which we have been deliberately and intentionally actually But also um, the interesting bit is both the running mates came from the Mount Kenya region, would, which was I, also making it another... Sorry, let me, let me, I don't think gender, I don't think gender I, is an issue. Allow me, can you allow me to say this? We at Kenya Kwanzaa, not only affronting one woman to say that the gender has been, um, you know, represented, we actually have a special charter that we are binding our presidential candidate to, that within his first 100 days in office, this is what it will look like for the women, for me and you, you know, in, in this country. And that of, sounds of great, Gloria, so, but it's also idealist when you think about just how Kenyan politics plays out. And it usually, the oldest fault line in Kenyan politics is tribe, right? Is ethnic voting. 
Do you think that we've gotten past that era into issue-based voting? What I this think, election allow me to, to go in and say, what I think is we cannot run away from the tribe because in our diversity, that is where our strength is. And the only thing that we have to keep pushing is that while we are organized in communities that are tribal, you know, based, that are pushed because, you know, if I'm, I come from Kisi. If you come and sell me issue-based politics, it's okay, but it's going to be in a setup of tribe because okay. in Kisi, we have cultures, we have issues that are actually a tribal Let issue. Let me have Steve so respond because we we're also running out of time. We need to celebrate our tribal. Okay. Um, yeah. Vicky, uh, I like being pragmatic and I like looking at numbers. Um, it's good she's picked a position. She's part of Kenya Kwanzaa. For me, as someone who's in manufacturing and, and entrepreneurship, the issue is irrespective of what anyone is promising, the market forces will not let them achieve it. She's talked about them having signing charters with counties. If, I, if, I'm, if I'm not wrong, every county is actually going to have a new leadership. Mm -hmm. so, Absolutely. So they're sending charters with who? We're secondly, sending charters with our secondly, gubernatorial candidates. Secondly, let me finish. Just allow Steve, I, I've, yes, I've, I've yes. let you speak. No, but allow that's me, the, allow, the answer that I was giving. You getting. see, the issue is, uh, as Mio, they've actually been able to describe where they're going to get the money, the 6,000 social protection. And the issue how Baba has put it is that the issue is the, the need for social protection. Mm -hmm. And he's actually said that the two billion shillings that is stolen every day, they're going to seal all the loopholes and be able to take this money, create structures to ensure that all the way from the national level to the village, the people who will need social protection will be actually be taken care of. So we've seen one side actually being very categorical in terms of how they're going to get money. We've seen this other side talking about the 50 billion fund. For me, uh, we in the various, in, in, in the various, uh, the 50 billion. yes, you have. Yes, the various meetings I've attended. Yeah, many of us do not want handouts. As a business person, I don't want handout. I want a good environment a for me environment, yeah. to do my business. I want an environment whereby taxes, regulation, policing, support, access to credit is actually fair for me. Whether I support as Mio, Jimmy, or Kenya Kwanzaa, that is the issue. What, what? What her side is actually doing is they're, they're taking people and making us look like we're beggars, like we want to be given Absolutely something not. for no, me. No, I do yeah. not want to be given anything. That's not what it I is. want an environment no. that will actually spur growth for people to grow. And currently, Vicky, uh, out of 100 please, shillings please allow me. that we're actually collecting, so what, what are seventy kids shillings? Actually telling you, you know, you know, it's a, when I'm, when he's talking when he's talking about handouts. Do you consider as a business person? Do you consider capital as a handout when you go to a bank? and seek for a loan because you want to start a business. Is that a handout? That is not a handout. When we are talking about a but 50, you're saying, allow me. This 50 billion when we, when is a grant. Allow it's me. not capital. Let's allow me. Respond. When we are talking about a 50 billion hustler fund, we are talking about a fund that will be in form of grants and low interest loans. Just like we have Uezo fund that are, is a revolving fund. Vicky, a grant so, um, is not kindly, working capital. I, kindly, that allow me. Freedom. I am in the social enterprise space and a grant to a person who is starting a social enterprise, a small that business, is free money. Is okay. capital. All right, all right. We have, to, we have to wrap so it up. So I, I feel money. like we should be, we should be, and, and you know, I understand that you have not taken a position, but this is another thing that I want to tell the youth. It is okay. I've taken a position. It's okay. And, no, I need to respond. No, allow, allow, allow me to, to speak and then we'll it's have okay. to It's and okay. It's okay whether you're an, you're an architect, a banker, whoever. It's okay for you to take a position because for a very long time, we have been shy of participating in politics because, oh, Miss Yasa, Miss Yasa. But it is time. What we are saying to Kenya is it is time you need to feel free and say that yes me as a banker I need to take a position that actually is going to be in my interest as a banker mm -hmm. who is actually offering me something and that is why even within the the, the social the, the civic uh, uh, space well, what we call the NGOs and we are trying to say listen to both sides and actually see is this the side that is going to push our interests whichever industry that you are in and that's why I'm telling you Vicky. conclusively as Gloria, as a youth and as a youth policy analyst and as a business person who is also in the NGO field, my position is that the Kenya Kwanzaa team is offering so much more than we can see. And those are things also that need to be also drawn out in Absolutely. manifestos that we're waiting yes. on. Those are, the issues, to, yes. those are the issues that the current market do it set up. Final point because we're running out of point. The current market do it is it will be very difficult for whoever wins to actually manage the country unless they're actually honest tell Kenyans. For the next five years, you need to buckle up. After Kenya position, my position is very simple. We need an environment that will give Kenyans an opportunity to grow irrespective of who they know. I don't need to know Vicky or you that is to what be able Kenya to Kwanza do. No, let me finish for me to be able to do a business. I don't need to know someone 
because I've been arrested yeah. to, you know, what we want is an environment where we abide by the law, we respect court orders, where KRA does its simple job, where CID, DCI do their jobs. We're an environment whereby anyone who starts a business can go to a bank, get a loan, open a business, pay it back. Okay. What Kenya Kwanzaa is my offering final. and what is are, so interesting are, 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 are grants as, yes. and free money. And I'm asking myself, where is this free money going to come from? And, and as you we talk wrap about up, your position, the two lines, my position the two is lines in terms of messaging coming from the two after of you, can, after economic can good governance rule of law. And we have to leave it there. Can, can I give a final remark? Fine. Ten seconds. I would say this. It's very simple. No one is pushing you to vote for either side. We are pushing you to open your eyes and actually analyze the points. Okay. Someone is offering 6,000 for, for your social, whatever, you don't call that free money, but we are offering capital to set up businesses and create jobs and you're calling that free money? I don't know what that August is. August 9th will social be the protection, Social protection is be. different <laughs> from we have to wrap up. Gloria, no, 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 no. social money. protection. You see, Gloria, I Steve, thank you so much. We have to wrap up there. Protection. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. And that does it for <laughs> Voters Hub. A spirited conversation here that I'm sure many Kenyans are having across the country as well. Is this an issue-based election or will we revert to our old ways of voting? Thank you for watching. Let's take a short break here on Citizen Weekend. We'll be back with more.